Hello friends, welcome to Ara Digital. Today we are going to discuss about uh, HBase uh, Managed High Table. So HBase Managed High Table, this is basically important concept in uh, HBase model. Okay. So earlier High 0.14.0 version high not supported uh, dml statements like uh, delete uh, update those comments not supported okay so that time most of the uh, projects using hbase they can connect a high model and inside a high model you can connect a specific table and you can insert your records from uh, hbase to high table or you can update records in uh, high or you can uh, uh, delete uh, records from uh, high so this concept uh, we are calling as a uh, hbase managed uh, high uh, table so now we'll see how to implement this concept okay so here we have to follow some steps so step one we have to add uh, all these uh, supporting uh, jar files in a uh, hive prompt okay after that second step we have to create a temp table temp table in a hive then we have to load the data into temp table and fourth point we have to create hbase managed hive table okay. so when you create this HBase Manager Hive table, same table it will create in both the places like Hive side also it will create and same time HBase side also it will create. So we have to verify table created in Hive and HBase. And the next point insert data into managed table from a temp table so here we have created temp table right so this temp table contains data right same data you can insert into this manager table so when you insert this data hive side also it should insert and same time hbase side also data inserted or not that we have to verify and next hbase hbase side same table you can uh, insert one uh, a new record same new record it is uh, inserted into hive or not that we have to uh, check okay and the next update record in the hbase same changes it is reflected in uh, hive or not that we have to check so here concept is using hbase you can update records in hive or you can modify records in hive okay same time using hive also you can reflect data in uh, hbase okay now we'll follow one by one so first uh, step this one okay so add jar all the jar files okay here if you are using clouder of 14 5.14.0 then you can give 14.0 jar name okay so in my laptop i'm using 5.13.0 okay so here hive so i'm adding all the sub supporting jar files successfully added so step one completed and the next step two so here step two create a temp table in a hive okay so for that we need the data file right okay so here cd data ls okay so cat here we need one uh, data file hive hbase.txt so this is the data file so for this data file we'll create one uh, a table first okay so here this is a hive ph table table name student 
student number student name student passed out year student marks student uh, region okay so region string row format delimited fields terminated by fields terminated by so your data separated by space okay so here i am giving a slash n okay successfully created uh, table here show tables so student table it is showing now we'll load the data into student table okay load data local in path home loadera data data your uh, data file name hive hbase dot txt hive hbase dot txt okay into table student okay so temporary table created and the data loaded or not that will check now okay so select star from student okay so data successfully are loaded so we have completed uh, three steps now okay next uh, fourth step create a hbase managed hive table okay so we'll see how to create uh, that table okay so here so now whatever table we are going to create it will create a table in both the components hive side also it will create same time hbase side also it will create so create table student one so student number student name string data type student passed out year and student marks student uh, region Re region okay so all the columns are specified so these are all the columns it will create in a hive okay so stored by okay stored by here org dot apache dot hadoop dot hive dot then hbase dot hb capital letters hbase dot storage handler store so here dot not required so hbase storage handler okay okay so this is the package which is available inside uh, hbase uh, a jar file okay so we loaded four jar files right inside that uh, jar file this package uh, available okay so with third properties with the third properties okay and now here hbase dot volumes dot mapping okay, equals to because whatever columns uh, here we created those all just it will create inside hive but now we are mapping to hbase also hbase also same columns we have to uh, create right uh, e comma so first one student number i am considering as a key okay then uh, column family name student name then again column family name student uh, year passed out year then again uh, column family name student uh, marks then again column family name student uh, region because in hbase column in front of a column name we have to specify column family name 
okay that's why here um, my column family name i defined as a cf1 okay then ebl properties okay so here hbase dot table dot name in hbase you want to create a, a same table name student one or different okay so here i am creating same only if you want you can give a different uh, uh, name also but a hive side and the hba side both i am giving the same name student uh, one okay so successfully created okay now hive side will see table created or not show table student one created and the same time hbs also we have to cross verify okay hbs also student one table created okay now both the components are table created okay but we have to load a, a data right we have to load the data from a temp table to this table so here if you see insert data into manager table from temp table okay so for that here we have to execute one query okay so insert into table student one you can insert data into student uh, uh, one table okay one select star from student so whatever data available in student table same data you can insert into student one table okay so now select star from student one okay so data inserted into hive and uh, will verify even hbase also data available or not okay student one so hbase also data inserted so both the places both the tables same data inserted okay so we executed query in hive but uh, changes reflected in hbase also okay now i will insert a new record in a hbase table same record it will reflect in a hive or not that will check okay so put student one in uh, employee number student number and the column family name cf1 okay student name and the uh, value okay so inserted scan so earlier 20 records now it is showing 21 records so here okay so in hba successfully inserted new record now we'll verify same record inserted in a hive or not okay so hive also it is inserted same record okay so employee name only we inserted but remaining three null null okay because hbase we inserted only one column related uh, data not other columns related uh, data now what we'll do in hbase we'll insert uh, here instead of null it will update uh, here or not that will check okay so hbase here okay same record same record here column so here i will give 2022 okay so now go to hive you check <clears throat> see previously null now it is uh, updated instead of null it is updated 2022 okay so using uh, hbase managed hive tables concept you can uh, insert or you can update records in a uh, hive using a uh, hbase thanks all for watching this session bye friends